How's it going everyone and welcome to beta and preview 1.20.70.22 So the wind charge is not added in this bedrock uh, update but I'll talk about it in the snapshot video in the next video but anyway experimental features Amadillo uh, Amadillos have a brand new unrolling animation Amadillos now randomly peek out of the shell well rolled up to accommodate these new animations, at the time for a roll up armadillo to stay without threats before run rolling has been increased from 3 seconds to 4 seconds. So let's see our boy. Let's scare him. Oh. 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 That's brilliant. Okay, yeah, that's cool. I did see the developer says the armadillo is completely finished now. And for me, I personally would say that I'm happy with it. <laughs> oh, that's cool. So anyway, the vault. Also, sheep work now. That's great. Vault. So, this is what the vault. Oh, this is what the new vault texture looks like. Uh, it looks really cool. It actually kind of looks like this is actually a thing that stuff will spit out of, which is quite cool. Uh, the vault texture has been updated. If any nearby players has not unlocked the vault, the keyhole will be open. If all nearby players have unlocked the vault, the keyhole will be closed. So let's see if we put a key in here. Let's see if the texture, no, the keyhole texture still stays the same. Oh, that was actually quite some neat stuff. Yeah, they're all, they're all, they're all okay in air as well. <clears throat> a damage shield? Oh, okay. So the breeze. The breeze is only suggested in the type selector when a pro, uh, approximately experimental toggle is enabled. The breeze's attack damage has been tweaked. So yeah, that's all from the, the experimental features. Uh, features and bugs. Okay, bugs. So cave vines without glow berries no longer drop. A gold berry when salt touch. So basically, uh, let me go into. So basically, no gold berries. So, yep. Which is like weird, but I. Okay. <laughs> it's like, okay. So, uh, blue and black candle cakes now display and drop the correct type of candles, which is good. So they obviously. Didn't. There was a bug with that, but there we go. They were absolutely fine, which is good. So wood, so wood block is now split into unique instances. So oak wood, spruce wood, birch wood, jungle wood, acacia wood, dark oak wood, uh, stripped oak wood, stripped spruce wood, stripped birch wood, stripped jungle wood, stripped acacia wood, stripped stripped dark oak wood. So here they are. This is also what happens when you tape, tape up wood. You get all these blocks for some reason. They're here. But we'll, we'll, we'll let them stay there. Uh, anyway, in game tips, right? So this is obviously a thing that a lot of new players will see. If you play the game for ages, like myself, you won't see these. But anyway. You may have noticed that in early preview we launched a dynamic game tips feature that will help players learn basic things necessary to explore and enjoy Minecraft with the tips. Being manually aimed at new players, you're not very likely to ever encourage, not encounter them. However, <laughs> feel free to leave feedback if you do see them at feedback.minecraft.net. Okay, so inventory, right? End portal frame item has been moved to nature category in the creative menu, so that's cool. Now we're here. I always thought there was something missing from here, but it's here. Where it now is fixed. So I don't play play for pay for realms on um preview. So I won't so I've not seen really much of the story things and I've not really seen much people talk about them as well, so I don't really have any information at the moment to show these stuff but anyway let's get on let's get on on realms we no longer keep the chunks loaded in the end unless a player is it in the area which is a good thing keeps the lag down fix a bug with text and the realm subscription landing page was slightly trunc truncated i have keaton realm stories added four new realm events 
added two extra special ward relevance, fixed gamepad button and put not working correctly on the realm story set setting screen, fixed issue with time blocks not rendering in the correct time zones on switch, added screen rent added screen reader narration for comment section when in split screen mode only the primary user access realm stories oh i didn't mean to do that but we did <laughs> so user interface the updated dev screen is now enabled by default even when resource packs are applied to the world so let me quickly get into survival and let me show off so yeah this is completely now in the game. This is the new death animation, which it's kind of cool. It's actually, I really like it. The grid slash list layout button and the new play screen now re retains the select layout mode on restart. The feedback button in the friends drawer and the new play screen now leads to the correct feedback page. World generation fix the bug that could sometimes prevent stronghold portal from being from being generated. But yeah, everything else was bugs. Uh, no, everything else was technical bugs and technical fixes. But yeah, that's really it for this beta video. Uh, it's actually quite cool. It's quite a short one. After yesterday's long, long me talking about one point six. <laughs> you know, this is going to be this is going to be me. Over a couple of weeks, a couple of weeks from now, when one point seven it comes out. But anyway, but definitely one point seven is definitely the last. I think definitely the next set of beers will be one point twenty one. But okay, we're, we are really kind of getting to the end game now. I think Mojang we'll is just going to release one last big feature, and then we'll be in the one point twenty beers. I feel like we'll be in the one point twenty one beers by the end of March. Maybe, hopefully. So I would probably guess 1.70 would come out in early April. That's my guess. But anyway, the Amadillo is finally, that's Amadillo finally, finally done as well. That's what a couple of developers said online. But yeah, he's absolutely brilliant. Before it was like quite weird, rushed. But you can tell now, after some community feedback, our man's here is absolutely done. He is final. But yeah, thanks everyone so much for watching. I'll probably have a video out right after. Probably a couple of hours right after. Uh, me talking about the wind charge. And maybe some uh, Java uh, bugs. But yeah, thanks everyone so much for watching. I just wanted to do this one first. Because Bedrock's more of a priority. But yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.